rockets showed up, our first load of rockets showed up. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some right in here, kind of make a pad so that he can dump, and uh, we'll go from there. So, show you what it looks like. There it is in there, all crushed up. chosen a one inch clean rock and it all goes through a sieve to make sure it's one inch and nothing smaller than that. This is done so that if there's any water in the French drain or any cooling of the water it can all start here where this perforated pipe is and then it'll go down it. The other backfill stuff will be um, a little dirty. This is a one inch rock of clean that doesn't have any other impurities in it. And so what I need to do is to make sure that when we came off of the slope here that the pipe didn't drop down and get a bend in it. So I put, we put some of this under it, put that on top of it, and so that it's nice and, and tight and won't get crushed. So what we're gonna do here, and hopefully I could you could see it. This is our French drain. And then as it comes down here and the water goes in, this is the rock. If you can see, let's all the water go through it, go into that pipe, and then it'll daylight out right there. Okay, so I'll give you an update of what we're doing. I am in the low part where we're back filling. I'll bring it down here, get a little more of an idea what we were talking about. So you can see how the rock layers step down of the rock. So we brought, took all of that dirt there that is not very suitable for building a house on. And we'll get down here to this, to this rock. Some people call it bedrock. I just call it rock. So what Bobby's doing now is that we're going to bring in this crushed uh, limestone this is the end of our French drain here you can see the difference in the, the rock that we use so the water that goes or any moisture will be able to go right into that this stuff is kind of it's called a it's almost called like a dirty rock so you have bigger pieces and smaller pieces but it's really good for uh, it's really good for backfilling because it, it compacts really really well because you have all the different aggregates anywhere from bigger ones to smaller ones and this stuff is even just sitting here overnight it's uh it's amazing how it just almost sets up like concrete so we are going to bring it up to this elevation here and then we have the smaller aggregate that'll go up here because part of the house in the basement will be our plumbing and so we need about 18 inches to put our sanitary sewer line to go to the end and turn and our septic system will be out just right over there leach field will be up over there that's why we haven't done the work there so this is what we're working today limestone uh, which is a zero to six inch so it all packs very very well and uh, we've driven over it so we're putting it in layers to about one one foot 12 to 18 inches tall pack it and drive over it put a little more in pack it and drive it over and over and over so we got to bring the crushed rock to this level and then this section over here all the way is where our plumbing is going to go like I was talking about earlier. So we'll have a strip here with the, the one inch um, crushed gravel 
much easier to work with when we put in our sedimentary sewer line. Well, Bobby is doing some capacity in here down low. So today is going to be a combination of things I'll show you. We are going to take uh, this rock here and start our stair steps down below in between our loads of backfill. And I'll show you our progress today. We've got a laser level out. And there's our final grade here. I'll lock up here. This is where we're going to have the different gravel, which is the one inch. Show you just how perfectly pool table flat this thing is. I might have to adjust my stand so forgive me here for just a second. There we go. Just how flat 